द महाभारत अ मॉडर्न रेंडरिंग वॉल्यूम वन अ बुक बाय रमेश मैन फोवर्ड अ नोट ऑन हिंदू टाइम एंड द महाभारत थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव ह्यूमन ईयर्स मेक वन ईयर ऑफ द देवास एंड द पित्र द गॉड्स एंड द एनसेस्टर्स फोर आर द एजेस इन द लैंड ऑफ भारत द कृता त्रेता द्वापर एंड कली द कृता युग लास्ट फॉर फोर्टी एट डिवाइन ईयर्स द त्रेता फॉर थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड द द्वापर फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड एंड द कली फॉर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड and then and the krita begins the krita or satya yug is an age of purity it is sinless dharm righteousness is perfect and walks on four feet in the krita however from treta yug dhar adharm evil comes to the world and the very fabric of time begins to decay Finally the kali the fourth age is almost entirely corrupt with dharma barely surviving hobbling on one foot a chatur yug a cycle of four ages is 12000 divine years or 365 multiplied by 12000 human years long 71 chaturyog make a manvantar 14 manvantars a kalp a kalp of a thousand chaturyog 12 million divine years is one day of brahma the creator 8000 brahma years make one brahma yog 1000 brahma yog make a savan a savana and brahma's life is 3003 savanas long one day of mahavishnu is the lifetime of brahma the great war the mahabharat is fought at the very end of a dwapar yug the third age just before the sinister kali yug begins once in time out of mind the gods created the kshatriyas to establish dharm justice in an anarchic world most royal kshatriya blood lines can be traced back to the devas themselves in the most ancient days the gods came freely to the earth but in time generations the noble race of warrior king has grown arrogant and greedy by the end of the dwapar yug they have become tyrants and they are still practically invincible krishna the avatar and his cousins the pandavas are born to destroy the power of kshatriyas of bharatvarsh india forever This is what the Mahabharat Yudh, the war on the crack of the ages, accomplishes, and thus ushers in the Kali Yug, modern times. By the Hindu calendar, the great war was fought some five thousand years ago. The house of Kuru is one of the oldest and noblest royal houses, and traces its origins to Somdev. the moon god timeless hastinapur the city of elephants is the capital of the kuru kingdom and one great king after another was has ruled from here the legend of mahabharat begins with king shantanu of the kurus and how a son is born to him but that prince devavrat will never sit upon his father's throne instead shantanu's blind grandson Dhritarashtra will become king. The main theme of Mahabharat is the story of Dhritarashtra's son, the Kaurav, and his brother Pandu's son, the Pandavas, and the enmity between them. Dhritarashtra's hundred boys are evil princes, led by the eldest of them, the ruthless Duryodhan, who was a demon. 
Pandu's five princes are Devputr, Dev's son, Deva's son, born to fight for dharma in the world. They are Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, and Sahadev. Almost every king in Bharatvarsh takes one side or the other in the great war and 10 million Kshatriya are killed. Dharma is established again on earth, but an age has ended and another has begun. The Maharshi Vyas, the poet of Mahabharat himself, wanders in and out of the story. On earthly begins Dev, Yaksh, Gandhar, Nag and Apsara find their way into the story, as do demonic ones, Asur and Rakshas. The Mahabharat is set in a pristine and magical time of the earth. Its heroes and villains are all larger than life. The war itself is fought with occult weapons, the astras of the gods. Just before the war begins, the third Pandav, Arjun, the greatest archer in the world, loses his nerve on the field of Kurukshetra. The perfect warrior cannot bear the thought of killing his cousins. Krishna, who is Arjuna's creator, expounds the eternal dharma to him. This exposition in the Bhagavad Gita, the song of God, the Gita is the heart of the Mahabharata. It's a real treasure. At one level, all the rest of the restless action of the epic is a quest for the precious Gita and its stillness. The Gita is the Hindu's New Testament. Senayor Obhayor Madhye Between two immense armies on the brink of a savage war, the avatar sings his wisdom. To the day, Kurukshetra is holy ground for the Hindu because it was here that Krishna sang his immortal Gita and here that he revealed his Vishwaru, the cosmic form, to Arjun. The original Mahabharat in Sanskrit is in Sanskrit, an epic poem of 100,000 couplets, seven times as long as the Iliad and the Odyssey combined. To record this epic for posterity is such a daunting task that Vyas begs the elephant-headed god Ganesh to be his script, Ganesh has one stipulation. Vyas must never keep him waiting for even a moment during the narration. The poet agrees and manages to keep ahead of his quicksilver writer, often with long digressions from the main story. Ganesh writes down Vyasa's legend with a tusk he breaks from his own face. This is a modern prose version of Vyasa's timeless epic, The Legend of the Sons of Pandit.